Hello viewers out there, welcome back to Saidiba Video Production and Sound System. It's your presenter again, Ramziba of Saidiba Video Production. Uh, he, here we have another episode of the Africans in the Diaspora program. And we have an artist all the way from Finland, a reggae artist by the name Dr. Oluganda. We all know him. Welcome to the show, Dr. Oluganda. Oh, yes. Yeah, greetings in the divine name of the Lord God Almighty for giving us the willpower, the strong mind and ability. You know, it's indeed absolutely a pleasure to be here, you know, in Oslo. You know, after being invited by the Gambian Association here, you know, here I am. <laughs> Thank you for that, Dr. Oluganda. Um, can you please tell us a little bit about you? Yes, um, as you know, uh, we've been through many things and uh, if I should recount to you everything, we're going to spend two weeks here, you know, listening at each other, you know, about the things we've been through and what we do. And But I'm just going to give you like a short version of a longer text, which is absolutely, I am... Dr. Ologanda, you know, a book Papa the Force, all the way from the Gambia, based in Finland right now. As you may know, you know, everyone that knows me, uh, knows me as a reggae artist from Gambia, representing the Gambia, crisscrossing worldwide and playing my music, you know, and uh, that is me, you know, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you for that, Dr. Ologanda. Um, Dr. Oluganda, for how long have you been in Finland here? Because you are a Gambian, and as you said, you represent the Gambia. So how long have you been in Finland? Uh, okay, I, I've been coming to Finland as early as about um, seven, eight years ago, something like that. You know, I was like more into concerts, but since I based in Finland, it's about four years now. But I've been coming to Finland, you know, performing in the neighborhood Finland, Germany, Sweden, Estonia and Oslo and you know but since I based yeah it's about four years now. Yeah. Um that's very nice. So you have been in the Gambia throughout the car your career? Yeah, um throughout my career yes I was b born and grown in the Gambia. You understand? You know but in between, I was like always out playing my music, you know what I'm saying, but born and grown in the Gambia, yeah. So can you tell, um, can you tell us a little about your career, which is the music industry, and the, you're part of the reggae path? Can you tell us more about this career, because there are so many challenges and so many advantages also of being a reggae artist? Yeah, exactly. The challenges are, you know, written clearly on the wall. If you check it out, if you check the levels, you will realize that, you know, particularly reggae music in the Gambia, it is a music that, you know, had been there from, from that time to this time. And the people of Gambia love reggae music. But then the challenges were like when you, were, you know, during our time when you play reggae music, people see you as a Ganja smoker. They understand you, you, you born with and, you know, you are not, you are irresponsible you know you know you can just be trusted it has been seen as like an outcast something like you know you, you smoke weed and you do all ki kind of bad things so you know the reggae was like looked low upon but despite all that it was the biggest music in gambia that could gather like you know the biggest the biggest crowd in a gambia at independent stadium you know so we did face a lot of things like in the music we've been used and abused you understand we 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 we, we, we trample and uh, we trample and fall and rise and uh, there has been a whole lot of things that we've been through in the music in the Gambia, like I did tell you, which I can't recount all here, but I'm telling you, it had been tough, as we all knew Gambians, you know, as people of, you know, 
people who are very supportive for foreign vibes and instead of their own people so we would spend 15 weeks listening to that here because we are no gambia but i hope and pray that the younger generation wouldn't go through what we have been through car it had been a tough time and vibes for us but everything good as long as god is concerned and uh, believing in what you are doing you know it's always like another stepping stone that would uplift you to another level no matter all the obstacles in your life and everything once you believe in yourself you always overcome all these things but it had really been tough definitely but then i knew i know that parts with no obstacles leads to nowhere yeah um thank you doctor and that's uh like you have stayed in finland for the past four years and you were in the gambia singing reggae that's why all the challenges and all the difficulties that reggae artists face how do you feel being an african a reggae artist african born and raised in the gambia and in the diaspora right now yeah i feel good because reggae music is like uh it's like uh it's a powerful carry of message because through this music we express you know our inner feelings and the things that are happening you know within the neighborhood and the society you understand the challenges of life so it had been a great vibes you know looking looking up to you know the people that inspired me like the founders and artists like you know Bob Marley, Lucky Doobie and all these people you know alpha blandy you know bonnie Whaler and jacob miller all these foundation artists and my grandfather too who was a great cultural singer during his heydays so looking at all these things i feel blessed to be part of the family and as a reggae singer you could, if you if you know luganda very well you would realize the flexibility in me i don't only play reggae because i just have a voice you understand for the people and i play what my fans want you understand so you know i'm into like dance reggae and you know african stuff and thing because you need to represent your roots and culture yeah that's very wonderful of you dr ologanda and um dr ologanda what was the reason that inspired you to be a reggae artist as i did said like i was naturally born a singer i was a singer from the first day i was born you understand it you know everything is in a me music chose me me not choose music music chose me you understand so everything when we do is music when i talk is music when i walk is music when i sleep is music so my main source of inspiration actually came from the lord god almighty you understand my grandfather and all these foundation artists i did mention to you you understand so i just feel good and feel blessed yeah. mm. that's very nice of you and um, when you were in the Gambia, were you singing when you were going to school or you started singing when you graduated? I was singing while I was in school because I attended two high school, that's St. Peter's High School. Then, but because of my desire for music, I decided to further my education in St. Augustine's. You know, in St. Augustine's there you could do arts and there was much encouragement there. And there I was singing for the school too as well yes i did i did perform for the school you know and uh, i can remember there was a competition of one song sponsored by unicef and the the, the title of the the song was um the right and welfare of a child and i was the lead vocal then singing for the school and the event it took place at Allianz franco gambia everything was nice and i was singing for the school i still have the pictures and the memories with me yeah, good vibes, you know. I was singing from the days I was in school, definitely. Um, thank you for that. Doctor, we have so many young people in the Gambia who are also like you, born and raised in the Gambia, went to school and everything there. They have the passion and the love to be reggae artists. But because of these challenges that you have also faced, most of them are facing it right now. And some want to do it, but they cannot because they are thinking of what the society will say. How will my people see me? How will they see my family? What do you have for those people? Well, nothing good comes easy. You understand? Yeah, and uh, they just need to get focused. You know, if you love something, you definitely have to go for it. 
You understand? It's like a natural callings. When it calls you, you definitely need to answer to the callings. You understand? Uh, there is nothing easy in life. Once you discover that this music is yours, go for it. But there shall always be challenges, no matter what. You understand? You just need to be strong and uh, there would be negative challenges and uh, there would be like critics, productive critics, unproductive critics, but you still have to deal with everything as a public figure. You don't, you, you don't need to respond to everything that comes against your way. You use it as a stepping stone to reach to your own destination. You understand? As I did tell you, paths with no obstacles leads to nowhere. So you just need to to, to trample down all barriers, circles and chains, you know, to be, you know, where you want to be, where are you aiming at. Definitely, they got to be strong because we are living in an Armageddon time and, uh, you know, times are hard and terrible. So you must be very, very strong. Strong like a lion. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you, Doctor. And doctor, we also have these youths there who are say like some will say that I cannot make it if I don't travel to the diaspora. And you made it in the Gambia because you have stayed, as you said, you just stayed here for four years. And we know that you have been singing long since some of us were not born. So it's, can you tell those people that they can also make it wherever they are in Africa? Yes. Okay. I used to be a youth activist, you know, and... Uh, I used to be a social secretary for a youth organization called Youth OAU. That's Youth Organization of African Unity, one of the 38 chapters in Africa. So I was working with them and there was a good vibes. Um, what I would say for, for that is like um, the productivity of the human being depends on the creativity of the human mind. You understand? Once you are creative, you would be productive. You understand? Okay. Like I, I said, times are hard and tough and terrible right now. Things are tough in the Gambia. Things are tough in Europe. Things are tough in America, Asia, everywhere in the world. So if you are seated here thinking that the grass is greener on the other side, probably you might be making a wrong choice. You only realize it when you are on the other side, then you start regretting. Why did I even leave my home? But I'm telling you, there is like economical crisis everywhere in the world. There is political crisis everywhere in the world. There is problems everywhere. Everywhere. Nobody is safe right now. So I just want the youth to focus and be creative. You understand? There then they can be productive in whatever thing that they do. Going through this back way is not something that I, you know, I've been supporting. I, I'm not supportive to that anyway. But then I understand, you know, people have different situations. But no matter what, we need to stand against it. You only realize it when you cross over the sea to Italy. Then you realize it's even tougher there. So where is okay? So the whole world is like in a deep shit right now. So my advice to the youths right now is to just stay focused and, uh, you know, work hard to achieve the desires of their hearts because whatever conceived belief can be achieved, that is life. You need to be strong. You need to be strong in this time. Be productive and be creative. You understand? Be the master of your own destiny. It will work. Nothing good comes easy. Always remember this and check the levels. Thank you so much, Doctor. I guess I'll also learn from that. And Doctor, you have been in the music industry for so many years now. Do you still have plans for the future about your career? Yes, I have a lot of plans, right? Like right now, I am always like in the Gambia like three times in a year because I'm always homesick and I have projects to run in the Gambia uh, because music is like, you know, it's something, it's like, Music is jealous. It's like when you have a jealous wife. You understand? Uh, you need to keep it intact. You need to keep connected to your fans. And that is why I'm always in the Gambia doing projects. I was one of those four f first musicians in the country to establish my charity projects. You know, it's called the Gandas Production Foundation. Giving back to the community. 
we've done something like for the disaster float victims when the rain when the rain came in the Gambian things didn't look good for the poor people them in the neighborhood it was my 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 charity you know foundation Ganda's production that went on tour gathered some money and bought some bags of rice and cooking you know oil and stuff like that and it, they were donated to the national disaster uh, management office at the office of the vice president at state house it was on news and everything and then again we did something for the blind school of the gambia so my music was was and still basically about you know uplifting you know the 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 the, the poor people you understand because one and was the other you understand and the uh, Growing up as a youth, I remember from the days when I wake up in the morning, you know, when I when I have a bread, I can't have butter, or I can't even have a cup of tea. So who feels it knows it. You know, I'm, I'm sharing my music and the, the, the little money I have with the poor people who are around me because of what, you know, it has gotten a direct impact to me. I did experience the thing because who feels it knows it. So I'm not doing it because of I'm rich. I'm not rich, but I call it searing. You understand? I'm searing with my people. So amongst those projects, we have done a lot of things, and I'm establishing myself in Finland to the international music, you know, levels right now. And that's why I keep telling them to keep checking the levels because I'm on a project right now called Dr. Olukianda and Friends on Journey, which is featuring different artists around the world. So I invited an artist from Ghana called Black Messiah, and we sang a song called Not Everybody. And the other, that one came on the 6th of, um, 6th of, 6th June, something like that. And then, before I forward, uh, forwarded to Oslo, there was another one that came out called Mama, featuring CD ranks from Kingston, Jamaica. So it just came out on the 1st of August. So I am working on these projects. I just don't want to leave the cat out of the bag, but there is a lot of artists in this project called Oluganda and Friends on Journey. This is a project I'm working on. So to cut the long story short, I am really, really solidifying myself in the music industry to an international level, trying to push Gambian music where it hasn't reached yet. You understand? There's a lot of things going on anyway. Thank you so much for that. It's really, uh, we are really honored to have you here on this interview. And before closing our program, Dr. Oluganda, we'd like you to give your words of wisdom to all the youths out there, especially those who really have the love and passion for music. One thing, unity is always the key. United we stand, divided we fall. A rope made of two coats is hard to break. And two people would always resist an attack that would defeat one person alone. So united we stand, divided we fall. United we defeat the devil. So people make we unite, you know, and uh, accept the sense of belonging to Africa. Love your mother, respect your father, you know. To all the young artists coming up, remember to respect the people, the trendsetters, the people who set up the space before you, 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 you step into the place because anywhere in the world, even in Jamaica, you have like young artists trying to pay tribute and, you know, give the respect where it is due, like people who set the trend before them. So it is always something like the wall of uh, saying would go. Understand? So it's always good to respect like the foundation artists who came before you. Because if you diss a foundation artist, you will be dissed too. Because in this world, what goes around comes around. And we are all gifted in our various ways. You understand? So respect yourself. Love your mother. Love your father. Respect your neighbors. Think positive. Because if you think positive, then you achieve positive things. Be careful of how you talk to yourself because you are listening to yourself. So you must be careful how you talk to yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, guys, you have that. That was Dr. Oluganda all the way from Finland who is currently with us in Oslo, Norway. 
Um, you, we were showing you his some of his songs at the end of the interview. Take it. We all got to be ourselves, no matter what I want. Stop from being someone else. Got to live and learn. 